guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be my beauty.com haul and I did like uh, several online um, purchases in the, like, the last, I would say like two weeks or so and I've got tons of hauls that I want to show with you guys so I'm just doing hauls as they come in and first up is beauty.com and if you guys are not familiar with the site it's just basically like um, an online beauty store where they sell a bunch of like name brands like um, first of all Urban Decay which I'm going to show you guys their new palette and an eyeliner that I just bought um, for anywhere from like big brands like that to uh, like nail polish and, and body wash and just everything you can think of that's beauty related and yeah so I'm just going to show you guys what I got and unfortunately I purchased this stuff before their friends and family event is happening so that's happening now and I'll be putting um, any information that I can gather in the description box down below um, and then also I'm going to be giving away $50 to the site so hopefully you guys appreciate that um so yeah uh what's what am I going to do here? Um, all you have to do for the giveaway is just go to the site and pick anything that you would buy with your $50 gift certificate and put it in the and put it in the comments down below. I always take a description. Put it in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, so I don't have very much makeup on today, so I'm just going to put a little bit of the eyeshadow from the palette I'm about to show you on my eyes. I like to do um, a little bit of demonstrating um, with my hauls now, so um, I love that. Okay, so... Um, I didn't get too many items, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six items, and they're little guys, and you'll see in just a second, but the first one I wanted to start with would have to be the new Urban Decay Vice palette, and it looks like this is the packaging. It's kind of cool. It's very Urban Decay, and then on the back, they have all of the eyeshadow pans here, and I do see a couple of repeats from other, let's see... Maybe about three. Three of them I've seen before in other palettes. And that's actually pretty good because um, a lot of the Book of Shadows have a lot of repeats. But I love the packaging. And then it's got the UD in the crystals on the top. I love that. And then I also love the fact that it just won't fly open. Like um, the old packaging with... Uh, the Book of Shadows, if you don't keep the sleeves or put them back in the sleeves, they'll just fly right open and, and because they have like a loose magnet. And this palette has like a push button, so you push it and it pops right open, just like that. It has a film covering the mirror, so that's why it looks a little bit foggy. But here are the colors, very pretty, and it also comes with a dual-ended brush. Here are the colors in groups really love this green color here. I might put this one on my eyes right now, actually. A lot of shimmers. Um, the only thing that I wish they did is put more matte shades, but the thing that I do love is that they did incorporate two matte shades here, and awesome for highlighting because I don't like taking the shimmer all the way to my brow bone, so I really appreciated that um, in this palette. I love it. The texture and the pigmentation of Urban Decay palettes have always been really, really so good. So if you are, um, you know, not like a drag queen like me, <laughs> um, I would definitely pick up a palette called the Naked Palette or Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay that's also on the site. Um, it's just a bunch of neutral colors and they both ha they have both um, matte and shimmer shadows so it's very versatile and it's a palette that I could use every single day um, if you are not brave enough to wear the really, really bright colors. Okay, so another product that I picked up from Urban Decay is this waterproof eyeliner um, and this is the 24-7 Glide On Pencil and I got it in Zero, I think. Oh no, I got it in Preservation. I would swatch it on the back of my hand, but seriously, this stuff does not go anywhere. And I know because in, um, I think a set that I purchased a while ago, I had like little mini pencils, and these 24-7 is like no joke. Like they last forever. And you, you go ahead and mark, and you try to rub it off, and it's like not going to go anywhere. So be careful when you use this pencil because it does stay. And I would definitely just be using this for in my waterline, and then probably... To smoke out my eyes like at the inner corner or the inner corners on the outer corner the outer V um, I really really love this and I can't wait to use it of course I picked the loudest 
chair to sit in to film my videos. Um, the next one would have to be this um, Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm in Vanilla and Lavender, and it's this little guy. And I'm not sure if this is uh, marketed for guys because of the packaging. I would definitely think that this is like a, a guy product, but um, oh, I guess a guy if he wants to keep his lips all silky and smooth. But I love the way it smells. It goes on really well and it does hydrate my lips like instantly. I was like a huge fan of just like medicated chapstick, the chapstick brand. But I would have to use it constantly all day long because it would fall off. It wouldn't just like stay on. And this one not only gives my lips like a nice shine, but it does hydrate and um, just take care of my chapped lips like instantly. So I really, really love this. My final products are the Butter Butter. The Butter. The Butter London. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of this Butter video that i seen that went viral on on uh, YouTube of some guy that was like freaking out because there was no more butter where he was at. It was hilarious. I'm pretty sure it was a spoof. I hope it was because it was it was pretty intense. Uh, if I can find it, I'll put it in the description box down below so you guys can laugh with me. Um, so yeah, this butter, butter London um, nail polishes and these are the new ones that just came out and I really, really love the shades. I love them because they are definitely fall and winter appropriate because they're dark. Got a green one here, um, a black one, and then also like, um, I don't know, like a raspberry glitter. So the first one here is called Jack the Lab. The next one is the Black Knight. And it's a really dark um, polish with a lot of different color um, glitter. As you guys can see, there's pink and blues and a little bit of dark green and also some red in the mix. So it's really, really nice and I can't wait to wear this on my nails. I'm probably going to put, let me see, let me put this on top of this nail polish here. So it's pretty true to the bottle actually. It looks really good. So I love it. And then last but certainly not least, really nice shimmery hot magenta color. And this one is in Fiddlesticks. It's really, really pretty. And let me see if I can swatch this one for you guys. Okay, so this is what it looks like on top of the dark color that I have. So as you can see, it actually covered really well. Um, and the darkness is trying to peek through. So I would definitely be using this with just... Um, you know, my base coat and not the darkness if I'm going to be seriously wearing this. And since I swatched the other ones, I might as well swatch um, the Jack one too. Okay, I'm now obsessed. Now I want all of my nails green. So definitely pick up Jack the Lad if you're going to pick up any of these three. It's so pretty and only one coat is like such an intense green. And it's definitely what I was looking for and expecting in this Butter London nail polish. So um, pick that one up if you can. Okay, and since I'm dying over green, I'm going to go ahead and use this color right here, which is called Junkie, Lord Have Mercy. Um, very appropriate for us Breaking Bad <laughs> fans. I'm so obsessed with that show. So I'm going to go ahead and load up my flat little paddle brush. I'm going to finish this look by adding a little bit of that 24-7 pencil in my waterline. As you can see, that darkened it up really, really quick. I'm just adding a little bit on the end here. As you guys can see, I transformed my look um, from um, just like, you know, plain Jane or supernatural today to like rocker or 
kind of glam too because it is um, definitely out of the ordinary something that I can comfortably wear at night and um, just gives me a little bit more personality and I only use two products I only just use the eyeshadow as an eyeliner on the bottom and then I also um, smoked out the black that I applied in my waterline and then also underneath a little bit and also on top um, to create a little bit of a cat eye with that Urban Decay 24-7 pencil. So I really, really love they it. Have other brands like OCC Cosmetics and I love, love all of their lip tars because all you need is like a little dot, which I've showed you guys in another um, one of my hauls. So all you need is like a little dot and it goes all over. And it's pretty much like a mixing medium because you can mix it with other products and with other um, OCC lip tars as well. Um, I'm obsessed with con their concealer, which I'm wearing right now. It's a full coverage concealer, and it's worth every penny. Also, um, I know I saw on their um, philosophy um, sets, holiday sets, which I need to jump on because I tweeted this morning that I'm going to get on my holiday shopping, and they have perfect sets like body washes and uh, matching uh, lip glosses and all really, really cute holiday packaging already. Um, so I'm going to get on that. And also Stila um, palettes and sets as well um, of, with other stuff also. But those are the things that stood out to me when I was searching the website. I bought my sister this huge Stila um, palette last year and she still uses it. I'm trying to think of what else I have to say. I mean, well, other than, you know, you can win $50. So I've been trying to do a lot more giveaways. So I know $50 is not like a bajillion dollars, but $50 is $50, right? So um, don't forget to check out their website and just um, tell me how you would spend your $50 gift card and put that in the description box down below. And I will be um, um, putting closed on the title and then putting their the winner in a week's time. So I will get you guys... Um, that information and I've been doing that. I've been tweeting and um, Facebooking the winners and stuff like that so um, that's how I'm going to do it and hopefully you guys enjoy this haul. There are many to come because I know there are people that love tutorials and people that love hauls and people who love both and I love you. So thank you guys so much for your support and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!